Welcome to this tutorial on raster data styling in QGIS. In this tutorial, we will learn to style a continuous raster, to write an expression in raster calculator, about raster properties. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04. QGIS version 2.18 To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with QGIS interface. For the prerequisite tutorials, please visit our website. Download the folder given in the core files link located below the player. Extract the contents of the downloaded zip file and save it in a folder. Here is my core files folder. Double click to open the folder. In this folder, you will find population density grid files for the entire world for the year 2000 and 1990. There are two files in ASCII format with .asc file extension. Let us open these files in QGIS. Close the code files folder. Here, I have opened QGIS interface. Click on Layer menu. From the drop-down, select Add Layer. From the sub-menu, select Add Raster Layer. A dialog box opens. I will navigate to the Code File folder on the desktop. Select the two files with .asc file extension. Press and hold the control key. Click on both the files. Click on open button. Coordinate reference system selector opens. In some settings, CRS will be selected automatically. In such a situation, this window may not open. If coordinate reference system selector does not open, ignore this step and proceed with the next step. Here, I will select WGS84 EPSG4326 from the list. Click on OK button. Since we are adding two layers at the same time, coordinate reference system selector opens once more here. Again, select WGS84 EPSG4326. Click on OK button. On the canvas, you will see a world map rendered in grayscale. Lighter pixels indicate higher population and darker pixels indicate lower population. In the layers panel, you will see both the raster layers loaded. Each pixel in the raster has a value of population density for that grid. To see the value of the pixel, click on Identify Features tool on the top right corner of the toolbar. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in the map. Click anywhere on the raster map. The pixel value will be displayed in the Identify Results panel. Observe that the lighter pixel has higher value and the darker pixel has lower value. Close the Identify Results panel. Zoom out the map. Click on Pan Map tool and adjust the map on the canvas. Population density pattern can be better visualized with an appropriate type of styling. Right click on the first layer in the Layers panel. From the context menu, select Properties option. Layer Properties dialog box opens. In the dialog box, select Style tab. Under Band Rendering section, change the render type to Single Band Pseudo Color. Let the interpolation be linear. In the Color drop down, Select Spectral. Scroll down. Select Mode as Continuous. Click on Classify button. You will see 
5 new color values created. Click on Apply button and OK button at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Back in the QGIS canvas, you will see the raster map displayed in 5 classes of spectral color rendering. Follow the same steps as shown for first layer and change the raster style for second layer. For our analysis, we would like to find areas with largest population change between years 1990 and 2000. For this, we need to find the difference between each grid's pixel values in both the layers. For these calculations, we will use Raster Calculator tool. Click on Raster menu from the menu bar. From the drop-down, click on Raster Calculator. Raster Calculator dialog box opens. In the Raster Bands section, the names of the bands are displayed. Since each of our rasters have only one band, you will see only one entry per raster. The Raster Calculator can apply mathematical operations on the raster pixels. In this case, we want to enter a simple formula to subtract the population density for the year 1990 from the population density for the year 2000. Under Raster Band section, select the layer by double clicking on the raster layer for the year 2000. The expression is now added to the Raster Calculator Expression section. From the Operator section, click on Subtraction Operator button. Again, from the Raster Band section, double click on Raster Layer for the year 1990. The formula for the calculation is now displayed in the Raster Calculator Expression section. Under Result Layer section, you will see Output Layer box. In the box, type the name of your output layer as pop-change.tif. In the Output Format drop-down, select GeoTIFF. Output CRS option is automatically selected. Leave it as such. Check the box next to Add Result to Project. Click on OK button at the bottom of the dialog box. You will see the new layer load in Layers panel. To view the map for the third layer, in the Layers panel, uncheck the check boxes for POP-2000 and POP-1990 layers. We can create a much more informative map by changing the style of this layer. Right click on the POP-change layer. From the context menu, select Properties option. Layer Properties dialog box opens. We want to style the layer such that pixel values in certain ranges get the same color. Click on Metadata tab. Scroll down to Properties section. Note the maximum and minimum values. Maximum value is close to 6000. Minimum value is just above minus 2000. Go to Style tab. Under Band Rendering, select Single Band Pseudo Color as the render type. Set the interpolation to Discrete. Scroll down. Locate Add Values Manually button. This is a green plus symbol button located next to Classify button. Click the Add Values Manually button four times to create four unique classes. These values show up in the middle panel. Here we have to change the values in each row. Population values lower than the value entered will be given the color of that entry. Double click on the first entry in the values column to change the value. 
we have observed the minimum value in our metadata analysis is just above minus 2000. Type minus 2000 in the first entry. Double click on the color box and change the color. Double click on the label column in the first row. Type no data values. Similarly, fill in all the values and labels as shown here. In the second row, minus 10 to denote negative change. In the third row, 10 to denote neutral. Finally, 6000 to denote positive change because our maximum value from the metadata analysis is close to 6000. At the bottom right corner of the window, click on Apply button and then OK button. Now, on the canvas, you will see a much more powerful visualization of the population data. Here, you can see clearly areas which have seen positive and negative population density changes. Areas colored in blue denote the positive population change. Areas in green show negative change. Areas in pink have not seen too much population change. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to style a continuous raster, to write an expression in raster calculator, about raster properties. As an assignment, using the population data given in the code files link, create a new raster file which shows only negative population change. Hint, use raster calculator, write an expression, to select population change less than zero. Your completed assignment should look as shown here. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This tutorial is contributed by Prajwal M. from NIT Suratkal and Snehalata from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.